Adrian Vihill, reading uh, scene 28. Uh, it was the most uncomfortable night of my life. <laughs> the first date back is always the toughest. You've only been on one date. How do you know it doesn't get worse? How much worse can it get than finishing dinner, having him reach over, pull a hair out of my head, and start flossing with it at the table? <laughs> You're talking dream day concern next to my horror story. It's gotta go this way. <laughs> it started out fine. I mean, she's a very nice person, and, and we we're uh, talking at this Ethiopian restaurant that she wanted to go to, and, and so I make a couple jokes, like, oh, didn't know they had food in Ethiopia. <laughs> and, oh, this will be a quick meal, we'll order two empty plates and be done. Nothing. Not even a smile. So, I downshift into small talk, ask her, you know, where she went to school, and she says, Michigan State. And that reminds me of Helen. And all of a sudden, I am in the middle of a massive anxiety attack. My heart is pounding like a madman. I am sweating like a pig. I can't think uh, I... Helen went to Michigan State? No. Northwestern. They're both Big Ten schools. Anyway, I got so upset that I had to leave the restaurant. Rob, I think it takes a long time. It might be months before we're actually able to enjoy going out with someone new. Yeah. And maybe even longer before we'll be able to go to bed with someone new. Well, I did go to bed with her. You went to bed with her? Yeah. Oh. Uh, is this too green? Thank you. <laughs>